Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again. We are here and we're actually going back and looking at our 2013 Image of Hope Youth Advocacy Award winners. We're trying to go in and have a day in the life of and actually talk to our winners, see why they're so involved and get a better feel of the efforts they go through day in and day out. We're actually here at the offices of Jeff Rezebeck. He's one of our win award winners from last year. I'm really excited to sit down and talk with him. I hope you enjoy it and I hope that you get a better feel of what our award winners go through. Thanks so much. Uh, one of the things that I started long ago when I first uh, began uh, practice, I tried to uh, say, you know, attorneys got to give back to the community. And one of the, the things that I found was the CASA program, which is Court Appointed Special Advocate. And um, I, I thought I was, I was a natural with kids. I had liked to have fun. And uh, actually, it turned out and it was a good practice move for me. But it turned out it was wonderful to work with those kids. I really enjoy it, and that's where I kind of started my practice uh, and, and getting involved with uh, the juveniles in the area, and uh, just kind of went from there. Uh, and that really stemmed from way back when I was a young kid and my parents instilling uh, the need to give back to the community and just helping out people. Excellent, excellent. Well, if you ask me, they did a great job. <laughs> Well, one of the things, uh, you know, was always pushed by my parents to make sure you help out in the community, but one of the things also, I, uh, in a high school project, uh, one of the things we, you know, a civic duty or uh, give back to the community, I got involved with Special Olympics. Uh, and that really, uh, my junior, <laughs> dating myself now, many years ago, junior and senior year of high school, uh, uh, our group got attached, our church group got attached to a special, special Olympics and we took uh, some of the athletes and worked with them right from you know right from the start where they didn't have any uh, athletic ability and that you worked out uh, we did track and field and we did some swimming and that and you worked them all the way through the Olympics and and that was so rewarding I continued that on when I came down here to Dayton with the University of Dayton and, and continued to do uh, uh, projects like that to help out uh, the youth and uh, disadvantaged individuals uh, and that then kind of just transpired when I went back to uh, the University of Dayton Law School worked with uh, programs, uh, did an internship uh, with the Juvenile Law uh, uh, Public, Public Defender's Office and uh, kind of just, it just kept growing from that and I, it was not just, I would say it was not just one thing, it was just, you know, I saw a need and I would go out and help that. Uh, that's great, that's great, yeah. Well, and the thing is, that as as we've as I've grown uh, in that one, it was just to help out, make sure people have fun, um, and, and doing the different activities and going to different, you know, taking kids to the ball games and you know whatever we could do. That was a lot of fun. It, it's kind of switched when I started the advocacy with inside the juvenile court area and become a guardian ad litem, uh, because now uh, the real focus and the real energy I have is about. Uh, advocating for disadvantaged youth and making sure uh, that we have the youth of our community that need assistance and making sure uh, the rest of the system they get what they deserve and making sure that they're protected not only uh, if they're coming from an abused home or a neglected home but that if they're in foster care that they're getting the services that they deserve and that they should have because one of the biggest things we have and again for older uh, kids in foster care is the getting the experience as a teenager getting the experience uh, and growing into adulthood and going through some of the times you hear independent living programs and that but one of the things that I'm truly advocating and trying to work on with families and that is that they get the experience that I had as a kid in the sense of um, you know, maybe trying to learn how to drive. We have a lot, of, a, lot a lot of issues with that, but you know, you you try and get that uh, that flavor out there. Going to prom or you know, getting uh, the kids. We have a lot of great uh, uh, child care advocates around our community and different organizations that do all that. That they, we all kind of coordinate to make sure kids are going to the prom. Kids are getting the experience and. Uh, uh, 
you know, it, the whole life of going through high school, uh, and hopefully they can take that and translate that into good education, get themselves ready for job, uh, making sure that they're following through uh, with everything they need to do to become a productive adults and, and follow through with that. One, pick an area that, uh, if you're wanting to work with the youth, pick an area that you enjoy. I know we just had a great advocate uh, out of the Big Brothers Big Sisters, Mike Brush, uh, is now, he is now the Big Brother for the state of Ohio. Uh, and, and that's an area that he went into and he, you know, great act advocacy if you want to get involved with, you want to do sports and all that absolutely any of those areas uh, step into that one one uh, bit of caution when you do that make sure you do um, you focus in on one or a couple use if that's what you're trying to accomplish don't sit there and I think all of us have that we can go in and we can save everybody really focus in on a couple of use at first get your feet wet know where you're gonna go and how you can advocate uh, best for that child or best for that area and that sport because uh, that's one of the things that um, y you can do better uh, helping one kid than you can trying to limit your time and help a hundred kids we want to focus in on just one and keep moving on from there and uh, get other people involved and you can do a you know you don't have to if, if your uh, advocacy is not directly with the kid there are many other activities that you can do to help uh, support uh, anybody that wants to do that if you just want to do the background stuff set up events and and do that you can they everybody needs that help as well oh, well again I, I appreciate it being recognized uh, and I think all the other award winners from last year uh, we all we don't do it for the awards we all have